Hey y'all. Hey. What a day it has been. We're a little exhausted. Yes. Our morning started rough. It, oh my goodness, it was crazy. Yeah, my, so. my MacBook plug quit working, so I finally got the video uploaded, and I mean, it was like six hour ordeal between two different days trying to get it. I finally got it uploaded and when I was uploading it, I had forgot my plug and it was a race between my battery dying and the video getting uploaded. And thankfully it got uploaded. It was literally like 1% back and forth the yeah, whole way. It, it finished uploading and I got it done and published with 5% battery left on my computer. Yeah. I was like, whew. Well then we finally settled down and went to plug it in because it was completely dead. Because I wanted to watch the video because so I haven't seen it video. yet. And it went charge, and I was like, now my cord was a little messed up, so I figured that was what was wrong. Yeah. And I got a cord today. So this morning we tried to, we tried to watch it, because last night it was dead, so we plugged it in and left it plugged in all night thinking, oh, it'll be charged in the morning, and it wasn't charged. No. So I did get a plug cord, and I did make sure it works and it is charging, so right. we're good to go there. <sighs> what else happened? So this morning we had the chick fiasco and the chicken fiasco. And the dog, yeah. So. This morning we woke up and the chickens were cackling and carrying on and we looked out. Buster was going Buster crazy. Buster was going crazy and our neighbors, super nice people, they have a pointer. Our new neighbors. Our new neighbors. And he was chasing our chickens and holding them down and ripping their feathers out. Or she was. So we ran out there. Didn't kill any of them. Kill any just of them. Got a couple yeah, of we them. ran out there, got her off of the chickens and she ran back up. So uh, they were very, we, very. They were very apologetic. They, Ooh, but yeah. It I happens. mean, it's dogs. I mean, Buster used to do the same thing. Yep. And their so, dogs usually locked up. It just got. Yes. You know, so Jack and I are up there talking to the new neighbors, and uh, I decided about to their check dog on the and the chickens and some other things we need to uh, work out with them. And uh, Jenna checks on the meat birds. Well, I got in there and they were looked like about half of them. It was less than half, but it was a lot. It was 37 of them. It was 37. I didn't count them at the moment. Where looked like they were either dead or dying. They were just saturated with water all around the water and just croaking. And freezing I was like to death. freezing to death. I text Derek and I was like, but she didn't get my text because he was talking to the neighbors. And I was like, we got dead chickens. We need to you know do some. Um, thankfully, Derek's cousin had brought us some empty plastic totes. Because we're out of anything like that, boxes, totes, anything. It's yeah. all stuff in it. <laughs> so the kids grabbed totes. We threw um, peat, moss. peat moss in them, took all the sickly or dead looking chickens and got a heat lamp, like held it over them. And just, I had the kids sit there and hold that. Got all the lively ones and another tote with a heat lamp over them. And what had happened when the boys watered them this morning, they put their water directly under the heat lamp. They didn't realize it would be a problem plus right. their meat birds as they get bigger they drink water really fast so they were thirsty plus they so their heat lamp heat was being blocked and they were trying to get to the heat and they were getting in the water and drowning it was just a mess it was. so we had 37 that were all i mean i thought they were all gonna die they just were they're saturated and laying there and twitching you know the whole mm -hmm. bit and we only ended up losing five by the time we left we were there them, for their five dead ones or were there still some questionable ones we're in the five they, in the no they were dead okay four or five i think it was five i don't remember maybe it's four i can't remember they were dead we separated them we got them all dry and warm they started perking up and coming back to life we eating them, and drinking again um we made electrolyte water because we figured since they went through quite the ordeal they probably needed some yeah. electrolytes so we did um we did happen to have electrolytes we don't usually have electrolytes for chickens but when we got our pea chicks that's what the lady we bought them from had and giving them so we had a packet of electrolytes um we because we didn't have the stuff there to make magic water because we're in the process still of in the process of moving everything so we gave them electrolytes everything seemed okay there were a couple that were a little still a little iffy but hopefully they'll be all right um so that was that fiasco the chickens what else happened was that it? I think that was like it. More. The pigs were all happy this pigs morning. Pigs were great. They pigs were, were happy, and um, we're gonna get a thing to hook to our totes so we can run a water hose to fill them up because yeah. carrying five gallon buckets is gonna get old. Eat. It's already getting old. Don't rake right now. We're, yeah, that's noisy. We're they can hear that. Yeah. So, so we're uh, finally made it all over here to the old farm. Um, I came earlier so I could go to Walmart and then do some things in the house, getting more. I mean, it's mostly packed up, but it's just. There's it's a lot. It's when you get to the end. There's just a lot of piddly stuff that has to happen. So yeah. right now, Derek just loaded the feed shed. Um, we're going to load the greenhouse. So that was the other thing. I got here, and thankfully, Derek left this open last night because my plants were cooking. He watered them but yesterday morning, but they were dry. There's a couple that 
were pretty shriveled up but they look like they mostly bounce back so i was getting them out as fast as i could and watering them um so we need to get them to the farm so we can watch tend to them, them. <laughs> babysit them like they need to be yeah and then uh the my i restarted pepper seeds and that was really dry i'm hoping that it didn't dry them out and cook them the seeds that are in there i don't know we'll see we'll see if they hopefully come up. not yeah hopefully not but uh, yeah, and last night I was dreaming that somebody was planting my all my tomatoes starts out and they were planting them three inches apart in some raised beds and I was freaking out inside, but I didn't want to tell them <laughs> because they, they were gardening. They were trying to help. They were trying to help, so I was like, but yeah, so That's I started funny. out with a rough dream. But <laughs> it was a nightmare. Somebody gave us 150 square bales of hay. Yes. The stock trailer, in the middle of moving, my friend texted and said, hey, I know somebody is giving away three it's square bales. Horse hay. So, you know, horse hay is really good quality hay, but it had some weeds that they were concerned about, but they're, they'll be fine. They're not toxic, yeah. but they just didn't want to feed them to their horses. So, so yeah, Ooh. he texted me and said, okay. hey, I know you're busy, but somebody, a friend of mine is giving away 150 square bales if you want them. I said, well, I'll take them for okay. sure. So, <laughs> me and Jack and Kylie and Josiah went there today, and we took, we got 150 square bales in our stock trailer. It is packed from front to back. And there's probably still 70 or 80 bales left that we're going to go back tomorrow and get. So, so, yeah, so you end up with over 200 just, really that you Yeah, have. but it's just like in the middle of moving and then all this stuff. But it's, it's over $1,000 worth yeah, of hay and we for have, free. Uh, how many left here? Maybe 10 or 12 left here? What, somebody, square bales? Yeah, yeah somebody else another, gave us square yes. bales dropped them off the other day. So yeah, they were too like, dusty for their horses, so yeah, they gave us that. They're not moldy. They're just, no, it was just dust. They're just dusty. So we need to get those and take them. So we're going to have square bales for our goats and the cows for a good, yeah. good bit of time so that's great um mm -hmm. we got four more bales brown bales, brown bales left here we gotta move yeah. there's several more loads um our, we're gonna be we're gonna try to get this wrapped up by this coming wednesday today is sunday sunday so that'll give us three more full days except for moving hay tomorrow yeah i don't i think we're gonna need the rest of the week because then yeah. we got to come back and clean up the outside and clean the house i'm gonna do all the things like vacuum and mop and all those kind of yeah. things make sure the house is left clean and then out here we need to blow off the concrete and just make sure it's tidy and nothing's in disarray right so, it might take the rest of the week but i think it might take the rest of the week yeah um, plus we got stuff at the house to do so or at the farm yeah because so we're setting like, up infrastructure there um, now but we've got to go we've got to get these plants loaded the greenhouse loaded the shelves loaded the onions loaded <laughs> we gotta take some groceries My home. red russian kale loaded yeah we need to get that out bring food to the house so we can eat supper this evening yeah we've been we've been eating like cereal for supper i'm not yeah. even kidding so uh, anyway the kids like it but yeah, yeah it's oh, i like cereal yeah. but it's just not the most healthy thing no we need to get some things going all right well let's do this all right i am tired y'all <laughs> It has been a day. We got that together. That's together. Jack's gonna find the last thing. <laughs> I say we just try to do one load a day until we get done. Cause it's so hard trying to farm here. <laughs> and uh. And everything's just getting dumped here. So yeah, we we've got to start organizing at some point. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's the next day. It is. Yesterday we just had to call it quits. It was. We were all so exhausted and tired. We just couldn't figure out how to get things done, but we finally got it together correctly. We're going to uh, bring it up a little bit more square and attach this board underneath it here in just a second, which will make it a lot, open the door a lot easier. Make it a little sturdier. <laughs> we, I had my air compressor on the list of things to get yesterday. We got to the point where we were pushing it on room. I knew I needed it for something, but I couldn't for the life of me think of why I needed it here. Well, this morning, I realized I needed it for my nailers to build the divider wall in here. So I don't have, we're just going to put the big meat birds in here for right now. We'll get the air compressor another day and then I'll build the partition in it. But right now, well, the main thing is to get these meat birds the bigger out, ones the out. bigger ones out so they can uh, have more room and more space to breathe and wander. So that's the plan. And so the here we go. The ones will stay in the brooder, but we'll open up so they'll have the whole brooder. Right. That'll give everybody more room and they'll be a lot happier. Little meat birds. Yep. All right.
right, guys, so we got this all set up and we got the heat lamp, water, five gallon water, because they're running out of water fast, and we got a big feeder as well. So we're gonna fill the feeder up and start getting these chickens out. I put 25 in each of these totes, we have two of these, and we gotta like, get the rest of them. There's more than 50. Gently, put them out, buddy. Come on, come on, chickies. There you go, come on. There's 25. Maybe. Okay. They don't want to come out. No. They're scared. Alright, do you grab another one? Well, eventually, once all the grass is gone, we'll put peat moss in here and start uh, doing that. This is not like a permanent, because I really would like to put a floor in it, but this will help us for right now. Yeah, everything right now is a temporary, temporary solution. Yep. <laughs> they should be much happier and healthier in here. That one is hanging on there, guys. It's crazy how they hang on there with their little toenails yep. in it. They're like, well, this isn't so bad. Yeah, a lot more room. They can get under the heat if they need it. They can get away from the heat. Yep. They don't need it. So. How old are these? They're over two weeks now, aren't they? They're about three weeks. So yeah. Three weeks. About. The other ones are about a week, and these are about three weeks. Oh, they're starting to eat. Yep. For me, birds too. This would be good. We'll be able to keep them fed and watered because right. they run out of their water and feed so fast. Oh, they're mm -hmm. getting bugs. That's awesome. Yay. So, I lost count of how many we had because we've lost them and all, you know, how it goes. So, we're going to find out today how many we have. Then we're going to get the other brooder, the separator out and let those chicks free range in there. Do we have 92? 92. We started with 113, but there were some yeah, rough goes done to get it after that one. Yeah. That one's a little rough. It's got pasty bottom, but uh, the rest of them look really good and healthy. And I expect we won't have many more losses at this point. This we're kind of past that point. So let's get this little guy from here. Yeah, we'll check him out, doctor him. And... Oh. Well, that chick has a prolapse, so we're going to have to call it because hey. it's yucky. The cat's in here. Yeah, the cat doesn't need to be in here. <laughs> okay, we'll make that 91. 91 chicks. 91 chicks. chicks. Everybody else looks good and healthy, so we're gonna let them do their deal. And the only thing is, it's uh, we need to make it where we can leave the doors open for them at some point. Yeah, there's no light. I can do that. It's raining a little bit out here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll work keep, on that. We'll work on this some more. This isn't uh, permanent the way it is. We're gonna make it where we can leave the doors open, so they get ventilation and light. I mean, there is some ventilation in here, but uh. They'll be fine for today. Yep. We'll get it all better set up once we get the air compressor here. Yeah, we gotta get the air compressor. We gotta get these chicks in the whole thing, but we need to get their that water out because it's gonna go to the ducks. Okay. And then their feeders in here and then move the fishing. So not much. Do we want to put the ducks in there with the other ones? So they can have okay. And not loose, I mean just in the brooder. Uh no, we'll just okay. No. All right. They're fine out in here at the bottom. Okay. okay. All right. All right, let's see. We need to, Josiah's pulling that lamp to the side. We need to open this. This side? Yeah, open it. Well, that's all the chickens. We're just going to clean the... All right, Lydia. Lydia is busting at a rooster. <laughs> Get off the gray. He's gotten aggressive. He might, I don't know, we'll see. He might have to be a call. Yeah, I threw a rock at him the other day because he went after Jacob. You rocked him. I rocked him good. I felt like Arliss and Old Yeller. I was like, I rocked him good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I guess that wraps this up. We got all our chicks situated for the moment. Everything's temporary, like everything in life right now. We'll get it all sorted out, but we appreciate y'all. And if you're not already subscribed, we'd love for you to go ahead and but Gates Potter. Subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing so YouTube knows you're enjoying it. Go ahead and leave us a comment below and if you hit the notification bell you'll be notified every time we upload a video and we'll catch you guys next time. See y'all later.